Hey, hey, it's Leah Faye, and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be how to show screen taps on your phone so that when you're doing a little tutorial, instead of just showing the user where you're tapping, they can actually visually see it. So let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open your phone and head to settings, accessibility under the general tab, touch, and then assistive touch on top. And then you're going to toggle assistive touch on so that you'll see a little icon show up on your phone. It's going to look like this and then you have all these different options. So on here, you're gonna hit dwell and then tap, and then that's how you can tell where you're tapping. But just keep in mind, you can't, I've tried to tap to go home, but it doesn't do that. So you'll have to use assistive touch and then hit the home button just because the tapping doesn't work on the bottom or even swiping up. And then you have options to move the menu, disable feedback, pause the dwelling. So I guess you would pause it if you wanted to go to the home screen like if you're showing your taps on the screen and then you're like, okay, I'm gonna wanna pause it. So you hit the assistive touch. Well, pause dwell, then you can swipe up home and then turn dwell back on for your screen tapping. So that's how you do it. Hey guys, this is Editing Leah after a fresh haircut. So in editing this video, I was actually testing a few more things. I just wanted to add those in. I just wanted to let you know that you can also add assistive touch to your control center. If you're on the newer iPhones, you'll pull down from the top right corner. If you're on older iPhones, then you swipe up from the bottom to get to your control center. So click and hold on anywhere that's free space and then they'll turn into these little guys and then you can click add widget. So I'll just in insert a screen recording of me doing that here. And then I basically just add assistive touch. Then I can quickly get to it without having to go into settings. The other thing I was playing around with was how to get two finger taps on a screen recording. I've scoured the internet, could not find it anywhere where you could get two taps at the exact same time. After trying to like zoom with like double tap because the internet thought that's what I was talking about. And I was talking about when like you see a UI and it's two two finger taps like pulling in like zooming in or zooming out on a picture that's what I wanted to find and I seriously couldn't find it anywhere after trying the zoom double tap triple tap which isn't the same thing that's double tapping with three fingers but not like zooming in with two at the same time then I figured it out thank goodness because this was gonna drive me insane how we do that is if you go to assistive touch back in your settings and then you hit customize top level menu you have your default menu which shows eight icons in that little black menu I showed you at the beginning. But basically what you're gonna do is you're going to figure out which tap icons you want. So when you're doing a screen recording, typically you'll want these tap icons easily accessible when you have assistive touch on. What I did in this screen recording is I just customize the menu. When you go to your home screen, you'll see if you hit on gestures, you have two fingers, three fingers, four fingers, and five fingers. So this would be what you would use for Zoom. For example, if you had only one finger on one hand, for example, but you wanted to do the double tap like with two fingers or the zoom with like three fingers, that's what you would use this for. But to actually see two tap finger things on the screen and then it zooming, that would be your pinch and rotate and pinch features. The only thing I wanna mention about the pinch features is that for some reason, the pinch and rotate wasn't working in my photo album. So you know when you like are zooming out of a photo and you can kind of rotate it in a weird way? Ginger. That won't work in photos, but everything else should work normally. So if you're doing the pinch and rotate in Instagram and want to show those taps, then pinch and rotate works and also pinch to zoom works. That's the only note I wanted to make. That should be everything you need to know in terms of screen taps while you're screen recording. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. I hope this tutorial was helpful and thank you so much for watching. It means the world. If you liked this video and want to see more from me, please subscribe and like this video and I'll be sure to keep creating content for you guys.